Tell us a little bit about the story of how the DHC Real Estate Services Company was born, where the idea came from, and what that transition was like. There's a lot of overlap between the culture that we have as veterans and the cultural community that I've brought into my organization, which is entirely staffed by veterans. When I approached the leadership of Cushman, I said, listen, I have this idea that I should set up a firm. How about partnering with me in some sort of way? The leadership was very receptive to that, and so that's how DHC was born. One of the difference makers is the strategic alliance that we have established with right. Cushman that allows DHC to provide the level of nimbleness that you might get from a small firm and the supplier diversity, but it gives us the institutional backstop, the capability, the depth, the breadth of resources that Cushman Wakefield has on a global platform. I think it's a testament to how special Cushman and Wakefield is. It's also a place that respected that sort of culture. Tell us a little bit about what CNW Services does and how the Veterans Initiative Program integrates into the business side of things. Right. So, if you want to think about CNW Services as sister company okay. or facility arm of Cushman and Wakefield, the operations and maintenance, the engineers, the landscapers, the janitors for Amazon, we do robotics. Mm -hmm. So, what it takes to make a building tick and yeah. run or campus, that's what we do. CNW Services is specifically tailored to the facilities maintenance side of our industry. That's correct, but it also means we work with the Cushman side of the business right. as well. So asset services, correct. operating office buildings, cleaning office buildings yes. for Cushman. The other thing that you'll always see in facilities is no day's the same, quiet day is a good day. Yeah. But you need the type of person that can move on a moment's notice and get something done. Pipe breaks on the 11th floor of this building, yeah. you got real problems and you need to have a team that knows what to do and goes in there and fixes it. Execution under pressure, standard operating procedures, attention to detail. Amen. Sounds like something we're familiar with. Yes, it does. Do you feel like there's a gap in communication with corporate America? Yes. Do you feel like we're starting to bridge that? Something we do well here is that we have dedicated resources. We have dedicated people working in these spaces. A lot of organizations have moved in this direction. Corporate America is leaps and bounds ahead of where they were 10 years ago in terms of identifying sure. military talent. Therein lies this beautiful mixture of the opportunity to be a real estate professional, build a career in a city that I love with clients and colleagues that I expect to do business with and for for 20, 30 years. Finally, there's thought leadership, and I think that yeah. that's where we have a lot of veterans in our, in our community that can do thought leadership. Yeah. You're not necessarily leading a team of people, you're leading ideas and you're trying to push people in the right direction, or you're a subject matter expert in your respective job. Yeah. Those are all ways that you can come into a business like ours and lead right out of the military. Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot of experience in the door.